Africa Oilway provides private sector players in the African upstream? Um, I, you know, I think this is this is a welcome uh, this is a welcome back, so to speak, post COVID. Glad to be back. You know, I think I guess we've all missed the Africa Oil Week. I think it's a forum, particularly the one holding back here in Cape Town. Um, it's uh, it's a welcome opportunity to meet up again with uh, colleagues, professional colleagues, and other business associates um, to kind of catch up on where our industry is and and the future outlook for, for, our, for our industry. Uh, because these are really interesting times um, uh, with, the, with the world going through energy transition. Um, it's a, an appropriate platform to have an engagement, particularly with the position of Africa, uh, with regards to what Africa should be doing, preparing and getting involved and getting engaged with the transition um, strategy. Uh, from fossil fuels to, to renewables. Perfect, thank you. What is the future outlook for the global oil and gas news um, upstream? Well, I think the upstream, the upstream is not going to go away. You know, uh, hydrocarbons will not go away. Uh, it's just that we have to become a bit more pragmatic in the way we approach our business. Uh, oil will continue to, to, to be in play for some time, uh, gas in particular now, which has been accepted as a transition fuel, will continue to, to, to play a major role in the global energy mix. Um, and the same way that we will continue to deploy technologies to reduce the impact of, uh, of carbon on, on climate change. Um, so decarbonization technology is something that the upstream sector is, is going to have to invest in significantly uh, to keep the upstream business uh, in play. So um, the, the global oil and gas uh, upstream business will, will continue to play a major, major role in the totality of the energy mix um, that powers the world. You know, uh, the growing population of the world continues to need energy and the development of the alternatives haven't attained that level in terms of capacity yet. So you know, I see some future positive outlook for the upstream sector uh, going forward. Thank you. And what's your corporate strategy towards the energy transition? Um, you know, it's going to be a combination of, 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 of uh, uh, options that we look at. You know, particularly for those of us operating in Nigeria, we have opportunities for for adoption of solar technology. Um, and I think that the deployment of carbon capture technology is going to be also something that we need to invest in, particularly with the support of the Western world. And, and the way I see it is that we're going to have to adopt the concept of uh, cluster deployment of uh, carbon capture infrastructure, you know, so that we can have a cluster of oil companies operating, particularly around an onshore area, deploy the infrastructure that is required to tap all of the carbon that is produced and then have it stored uh, within a particular geological area. You know, so those, those kinds of, of things are, are things that, that companies will have to try and focus on uh, in, in, in Africa. And then of course, adoption of uh, hydrogen uh, will also be one of the options. Uh, but for us, the key, being upstream players, the key will be to mitigate the production of, of carbon, you know, that, that's, that's going to be the, the key for us. So the adoption of the technology that will reduce the production of carbon in the cost of our oil operating activity is going to be very vital. And that's why carbon capture storage becomes a key area. It's going to require a lot of investment. It's going to require a lot of support, you know, but I, I believe that's the way to go. Uh, because for Africa, we really can't, can't stop producing oil today. You know, so it's just going to be how do you mitigate the impact of oil production in the process. And, and so focusing on such technologies that will help to mitigate the production and, and the emission of carbon into the atmosphere is going to, work, going to be what we have to invest in. Perfect, thank you. And the last question, what role can Africa play in regional and international energy supply? Well, I mean, the, the good news is that um, gas is now being globally adopted as a transition fuel, and, 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 and Africa is, is, is so well endowed with gas. You, know, you can see the size 
and scale of the gas that is being discovered across the continent from, from South Africa to Mozambique to Tanzania, you know, and, and the scale up uh, uh, Namibia recently, you know, uh, all of that, those discoveries of huge volumes of gas, I think that are going to translate to um, significant additions of gas into the, into the global market. Uh, Nigeria is also scaling up, as you're aware. There's the train seven happening in Nigeria. There's also the effort to lay pipelines uh, from from Nigeria across to to Algeria, you know, uh, so that the, you know there can be gas supply going into Europe. You know, um, so uh, you know, and then there are also discussions around some floating LNG projects as well in Nigeria. Uh, you know, as you know, Nigeria has significant volumes of gas, you know, about 260 cf of gas. So all of those gas resources that have been, been discovered are going to be available for both the domestic industrialization of Africa itself, and so Africa can then begin to, to add value uh, to the hydrocarbons we produce, as well as also selling the excess of it into the global market you know, via the various channels I've just described. So LNG coming on stream in Mozambique, you know, uh, Tanzania is looking at various options. Um, and Congo is also looking at some floating LNG programs. You know. so, so all of those things are going to be uh, various platforms and channels through which Africa will continue to, to, to contribute to, to, to energy supply to the global market, as we have always done. Anyway. But the key today is that um, Africa is looking more towards utilization of some of, that, some of those resources for the industrialization of the continent itself. So that's going to be the key. Going forward, it will be uh, that these gas resources will become enablers towards the industrialization of, 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 uh, of Africa. Thank you.